experiment. You have the easiest job in the world. It's really cool. It's just elementary stuff. Um, I'm going to have you do simple things like hold out your arm or hold up your hand and hold up numbers like one, two, three. Simple. It's like so easy. The catch is you have to listen to what I ask you to do because I can't let the two of you see each other. So during this experiment, for the majority of it, your eyes will be closed. So you'll just be listening to my voice and I'll have you do very easy stuff. Now, during the experiment, if this works, the audience is going to freak out if this works. They're going to be like, what? Like, ah, uh, you know? And they, they might yell and pee themselves, whatever they do. <laughs> it's cool. You guys can react if you're freaked out with me. It's fine. But just, just listen to my voice. It's very important. Now, during the experiment, um, like I said, your eyes will be closed. I'll be watching like body language, like you're holding your fingers, stuff like that. Um, and we're going to see the similarities and see what, what, what you do. Now, quick question. Uh, what's your birth date? When were you born? June 7th. And when were you born? June 7th? This is getting weird already. <laughs> and there's always a guy, dude, that's weird. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Um, <laughs> step one, look at each other. And I'm going to take a break. And you guys get to look at each other and memorize what each other looks like. It shouldn't be hard. <laughs> but more importantly, do this. Memorize what the person is wearing. Memorize what your sister's wearing like... Uh, if she's wearing new, like like shoe nail like uh, toenail polish or like shoe, <laughs> shoe nail polish, you, think, get with it, you don't even know about that. Yet. <laughs> Sandals, what color they are, any accessories, jewelry, how the the hair is, how like I don't know, little things. Memorize what your sister looks like. Now there's no test later, don't worry. But I need you to be able to picture her as clearly as we can. So watch, just look at each other and memorize what each other is uh, is wearing. Now, in a moment, when I snap my fingers, I want both of you to close your eyes, and you'll just listen to nothing other than the sound of my voice. <clears throat> Get one last glance, take a mental note, take a picture of your mind. And in a moment, when you close your eyes, you're going to picture what you're seeing right now. Three, two, one. Close your eyes, and listen to the sound of my voice. I want you to imagine that the two of you are walking maybe two steps toward your sister, and you're meeting in the middle of the stage. I want you to imagine it and picture it. I want you to imagine in your mind that you're holding out arms and you're touching fingertips. Your arm is straight out in front of you, and you're touching each other's fingertips. Picture it. I want you to imagine that there's a weird energy that flows up your arm, across your shoulders, down into your other arm, but it's relaxing. It's calming. Picture each other's face. Picture everything you can. And I'm going to ask, actually, both of you, I want both of you to hold out your right arm straight out, palm down. So, fingers together, like this. Thumb in, thumb in, excellent. And imagine, there's a weird energy flowing up your arm. It goes across your shoulders, down into your other arm. It's in your knees, your toes, your calves, your face. Imagine it's consuming your entire body. I want both of you to slowly lower your arm down by your side, all the way down. You can always tell me timing, sending, receiving mentally. Watch this. In a moment, ladies, I'm going to be taking an object out of my pocket, and I'm going to be brushing it on one of you. What I want you to do is memorize where you feel it and how many times in each location. For example, if I brush you on your left kneecap two times, in your mind, you're just going to say to yourself, it was two times in my left kneecap, and you're going to memorize what it is that you feel. Nod your head if you understand. Perfect. Now, you'll feel multiple sensations in multiple places, but it'll be fairly easy to memorize, don't worry. Just memorize exactly where you feel it and how many times. Now, before I actually do this, I'm going to ask both of you to take a deep breath in. Exhale. Begin to breathe normally. I want both of you to turn slightly toward the audience, but keep your eyes closed. Turn your body up. Very good. Just like that. Now, before I actually brush you with this object, I'm going to connect what's known as an aura around your body. Some people claim that they can see an energy that's uh, different colors around people. I don't know if it truly exists, but we're going to do it for good measure. So I'm going to ask both of you, I want both of you to hold out your, uh, I guess your left arm straight out toward the audience. Perfect. Now, you may see shadows. I want you to ignore shadows. Don't worry about that. But in a minute, if you feel something, I want you to memorize where you feel it and how many times you feel it in each location. Just picture your sister's face. Relax. Keep that arm extended and picture her face. Picture 
make sure everything she's wearing, keep that arm out, and begin to relax. shadows. You begin to relax. I'm going to ask you a series of questions starting right now. Listen to the questions. Question number one is as follows. If you felt me brush you somewhere on the arm, wrist, or hand, uh, very gently, I want you to take your right pointer finger and touch it and hold it to the spot on your arm where you felt that. Do it now. <laughs> awesome. Now I want you to mimic the motion with your arm, with your finger. Was it a brushing motion, a tapping motion? Mimic exactly how you felt it. Brush both arms down by yourself. Both arms all the way down. Yeah. Picture each other's face. You're both doing a perfect job. Picture each other's face. I want you to try to think back to how many individual strokes you felt on your arm there. When you think you can remember, take your left hand, hold it high above your head. Hold up the amount of fingers corresponding to how many times I brushed you on the arm there. Take a guess if you're not sure. Two or three? Yeah. Drop your hand down by your side. It's very ticklish. It's light. You're both, you're both doing a perfect job. Picture each other's face. Question number two. Question number two is as follows. Question number two. If you felt me brush you somewhere on the head or the face, I want you to take your left pointer finger and touch it and hold it to the spot where you felt that. <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly where I did. Amazing. Hold that hand up higher, left hand. Show us how many times you felt it there. Was it once, ten times? What do you think? Just once. That's right. Drop your hand down. Listen to nothing other than the sound of my voice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe normal. Picture your sister. Try to remember what she's wearing. Now. Feathery tickles are one thing, and they're kind of subtle. You can't tell how many times. Let me ask you a question, the next question. Listen to me very carefully. If you felt me poke you or tap you or whatever you want to call it, if you felt that, I want you to take, um, take your left pointer finger, and if you can, if you can reach it, touch that finger to the spot where you felt me do that. <laughs> kind of, yeah, kind of on your how, Hold up that hand. How many times did you feel it there? Really high show. Just once. That's right. Keep your eyes closed. Lower your hand. This is awesome. I'm going to try one more thing. <laughs> Throw this one up. Picture each other's face. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Excellent. Picture each other's face. <laughs> and relax. Just go with the flow and begin to relax. Now, I'm going to ask you a quick question. This, no one really ever gets to this level, but I'm going to ask anyway. If you felt, this is just a test. One day someone might, if you felt me take a little, there's a, like a Sharpie marker, you probably don't know what it was, but if you felt me draw a circle with an X inside of it on your arm, if you felt that, I want you to raise your left hand high above your head. Okay, this is, it's almost impossible to get to that level, so we're going to bring them back out. Lower your arm down by your side if it is raised. Picture each other's face. Keep your eyes closed, but turn your body in toward one another. Stop, just like that. And imagine that your sister's standing in front of you. Imagine that you're holding out your arm yet again. Hold out your left arm, straight out, palm down. And imagine that energy is going to leave your body. It goes from your toes, up to your knees, up to your waist. It goes up your spine, and it shoots out of the fingertips of that arm. But it's a good thing. You're going to go back to where you were. Slowly lower your arm down by your side. Perfect. Now listen to me very carefully. In a moment, when I have you open your eyes, you're going to feel refreshed and renewed better than you did before you even hit the stage. I want you to remember where you're at and what you're doing. You're on stage, you're having a fun time, you're here with your sister. Picture. And slowly, 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 open your eyes and look at each other. Good morning! <laughs> Come on, let's give these ladies a big round of applause. Oh, on the face. You feel it like here one time? Yeah. Okay. But, okay. And did you feel me do that?
that on your map one time? Cool. Between 1% and 100% sure, how sure are you that you felt those things? 100%. Okay, cool. 100%. All right, all right. And did you feel anything? Yep. Okay. Would you say you felt what she felt? Yep. Okay. Uh, like a brush on the arm, a ticklish feather like, yeah, and on the face? Yep. Um, and, oh, yeah. Back here like that one time? Yep. Okay, between 1% and 100%, how sure are you that you felt those things? 100%. <laughs> okay, so um, we should let them sit down and never tell them what happened on this day. That would be funny. This is the thing. Here's the thing. Um, the reason we're so freaked out, ladies, is um, I only touched one of you. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it was me. <laughs> um, one of you was feeling the electrical, electrical scene. Have you ever stub your toe and you're like, oh, this is going to hurt? Ow! And it builds, you know that? Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. Of course, that's because it takes time for the electrical signal to go all the way up your leg, up your spine, to your brain, and go, hey, that hurts, say ow. So, who's feeling that? I'll let the audience spill the beans. Did I do those things to her? Yes. yes. Did I ever touch her? No. no. Shut up. <laughs> I know, but it, it, it seemed real to you, correct? I got maybe this close to you. Now, you may have seen shadows, but I never did anything to you. Everything that I did, I was over here doing to your sister. But it seemed real, right? <laughs> I know, it's tricky. And, 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 and you have a few hundred witnesses. Now, you got to every single level. The only level that you didn't get to was I took a, a Sharpie marker and I drew a circle with an X on it, but you didn't feel it. And that's okay. That doesn't mean anything like bad or anything like that. Which arm was it? Did you rub it off? 